Overcoming Fear is a song that has a very deep meaning for me. And it's a very personal song. And I want to share its story with you guys, you know, so you have a better understanding of it when it comes out. In early 2017, I was living in Miami and I was dealing with anxiety and uh, which I have, you know, dealt with ever since I was eight or something and also depression, which was caused by, um, you know, being overwhelmed with moving to another country and being very uncertain of the future and not having my support system, a.k.a. my family, with me. So it was a very rough time. And uh, while I was there, my grandma had to go to the hospital, which hit me really hard because, you know, she was 94 years old then. And, and you know, like, it's, it's hard. I, I couldn't be there for her. I was in Miami. She was back in Brazil. It was, and I, I just thought, you know, like, damn, I'm not going to be able to spend my grandma's last moments with her. I'm not going to be able to say goodbye. And that is a very tough situation to go through. All of that combined with a huge fear of the idea of death inspired me to write this song and, you know, try to cope with these feelings. In the end, I was fortunate enough to spend some of my grandma's last moments with her. And that was very, very hard and incredibly hurtful. But at the same time, I felt very glad and fortunate that I was able to, you know, share those moments with her before her passing. It took me a really long time to decide to actually record the song. And when I did, I knew I had to find great musicians to be able to play the things that I wanted and to make the song sound as good as it sounded in my head. So I decided to call some people and who were very good friends of mine and who were also some of you know my favorite musicians in the world. And luckily enough, Everyone said yes, and they decided to help make my vision come true. The drum parts were written and recorded by Bruno Giordano, who is uh, Daydream Eleven's drummer, and he's for sure one of the best drummers you'll ever see in your life, I promise you that. The bass lines were created by Ben Lima, who used to play in a band called Hibria, and then he recorded Daydream Eleven's second album with us, the Circus of the Tattered and Torn. And he actually played Prog Power with us last year. And that was a very fun experience because uh, Ben Yur, he's probably my favorite, one of my favorite musicians, if not my favorite musician in the whole galaxy. So, you know, I was thrilled to have him on board. Keyboards were done by Vinicius Miller, who's a very good friend of mine and an amazing keyboard player. He plays with a band called Street Flash, and he also recorded Daydream Eleven's first album, The Grandest Guys. And last but not least, Daydream Eleven's leader, singer, guitar player, songwriter, producer, artwork, manager, whatever, <laughs> and high school friend of mine, Thiago Masetti, lent me his beautiful voice to sing like some really high notes that I could never try to sing in my life that you'll hear in the last chorus of the song. One of the reasons why it took me a really long time to actually record the song is that I wanted it to sound really good and I wanted it to sound natural and I wanted it to sound organic. You know, I wanted to have real instruments. I didn't want any, you know, MIDI stuff i didn't want program drums i have nothing against it it's cool if you want to do that but like for the style of music that i was doing it just wouldn't work and it's hard you know like for that you need studio time and i really couldn't afford it then so i had to wait lucky as i am i happen to be very good friends with Renato Osorio, which is a hell of a producer 
from Porto Alegre, Brazil, and he decided to help me record my song and make it come true. So we did that at his studio, Dry House Studio, and we recorded everything there. We recorded drums, we recorded uh, vocals, we did reamping. It was a very cool, very fun couple of days. Renato also uh, mixed and mastered the song, which was great because like, he's a very good friend of mine and he understands me musically in a level that very few, few people do. So uh, he was able to make it sound like huge and better than I could ever imagine. So that is the story behind the song. And I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about it and not listen to it yet. And I hope everyone loves the song as much as I do when it comes out next week. So please do like this video, comment, subscribe, share, whatever. And uh, thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.